what is going on guys? JC coming to you today with another tutorial. I'm excited about this one. This is Credence Clearwater Revival, Bad Moon Rising. Now this is that song that you just want to be playing at your next climate change protest, your next rally, the next one you go to, you're gonna have the acoustic guitar and you're gonna sing Bad Moon Rising. Like, I fear hurricanes are blowing. Like, you know, you just like all this weather stuff going on and you're just gonna be there and you're gonna be right in the crowd and everyone's gonna be like, yeah. Yeah, it's going off. So this is what we're going to be doing here today. Now, this is actually a three chord song, so it's a lot of fun to play. It's a good song to play around a campfire. I've never actually played the song around a campfire, but if I ever had a campfire, I'm sure I'd play this song. And John Fogarty doesn't get much better than that. Doesn't get much more Americana than that. One other thing I did want to say, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. We're doing guitar tutorials, we're doing some stuff on singing, and I even had a thought the other day, maybe I'll do some stuff on cooking, because I make a mean souffle. So, we're gonna get into the video here today. Three chords, John Fogarty, let's get into it. So for today's tutorial, we need three chords, a D, on screen for your viewing pleasure, an A, and a G. Okay, so for this, the strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Now it just sounds like there's a whole lot of ups and downs going, but I'll show you really slowly because the the strumming pattern sort of changes a little bit. So on the D, down, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, and then A, change. So the A, down, down, and into the G, down, down, and then back to the D, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. So program that in, like you might have to play that a couple of times, but it's just... And then when you sort of play that around, you might go... That's really it. That's, that's, that's how I play it. That's the strong pattern. Marty Music might teach you something a little bit differently. I think it's sort of based around that, loosely around that same strumming pattern. So the, that's the verse. So I see bad moon rising. I see troubles on the way. I hear earthquake and lightning. It goes to the G, G, don't go out tonight. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So slowly, just the rock strum pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. G, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up. D down up, up down up, D down up, up down up. One bar of A, so two bars of G, two bars of two bars of G, two bars of D, one bar of A, and then dip to the G, down down up, up down up, and then back into the verse again. Down down.
Notice my singing. I'm trying to sing louder. I, I've been doing singing lessons and I'm not, I'm holding back. I'm holding on to, to, and I'm not letting go. So I'm trying to practice letting go a little bit more. So it might like blow you out of your living room, but it's just part of the process. So I, I used to sing really quietly and I sort of just, Don't go out tonight, it's but you kind of constrict yourself. Whereas if you like blare out and let go, then you you you'll just open up the loosen up those vocal cords, Tubby. If you're an Australian cricket fan, you'll you'll know that reference. So, um, the the other thing that I like to do in this song, so that's that's pretty much the song, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, uh, verse, and then chorus and finish it off. So it's a pretty pretty basic song. Um, the the other thing that I like to do is is throw in some embellishments. So if you're a fan, if you follow Mark the Guitar Guy, which is a channel you should get onto if you're not already, he does what he calls awesomeizing. Uh, I've used the term embellishments. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to like compete with him or anything. So awesomeizing is good. I like the term awesomeizing. So on the, the, the D, on the G, sorry, you might just take the finger off the index finger off the second fret A string. And then for the D you might you might put the little finger on the third fret E string. And you might take the middle finger off of the uh, second fret E string. And for the A, you might have the fingers on for for a normal A, and then you might put the 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 fourth finger on the third fret B string. So you might go like. And in addition, you might do some palm muting as well, so... So that wasn't perfect, but... Just have some fun with it, so you might only hit the on the verse. I see bad moon rising. I see troubles on the way. I hear hurricanes blowing. Bad times today. Oh, don't go around tonight. It's a bounce in your life. Someone in the comment section is gonna be like, don't sing, give up, stop singing, that's okay. I don't give I don't give up what you got to say about now. <laughs> Alright guys. Alright guys, JT here with another tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed that one. I had a lot of fun playing that one. Hope you do too. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. And you know, we will see you in the next video. We're just getting started here on this channel. We got some fire coming your way. And we're going to get an ND field, so we're going to take this filming outside. We're going to be out outside filming. We're going to be putting some stuff together. We're going to be doing some stuff around personal development, growth, motivation, all this sort of stuff. We're going to be pumping you up for success. This is what we're bringing to you today. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.